All right, for my project, I'm gonna make bread because people being bread forever wherever you're at. So here we go. All you really need is like flour, water to get all together. And then uh, you can use like dry yeast or you can use like a starter. So like a lot of people, especially in like Rome and Greece, they would use like a organic, like wild yeast sourdough, like starter. I don't know what they call it in their languages, but yeah. All right. So I'll start out some flour down. And you're gonna kinda of make a well in the middle. And then you can add your starter. And after you add your starter, kind of mix it together a little bit. Make another little well. And you're going to add a little bit of water. And kind of, you know, just keep mixing it together. Okay, add a little bit more. To get it all, you know, together and get it all happy. bit more water and keep just you know bring it together and eventually you end up with a big round ball so So after you've kneaded the dough, what you are going to do is let it sit on a counter or the resting, wherever you want. It's a good place for it to rest. And then you are going to cover it with a cloth or a towel, you know, a dry one. It doesn't have to be damp or anything or whatever. You know, just let it cover and sit with a dry cloth over it for about an hour. Let the yeast do its thing and let it proof so the dough begins to rise. And then come check it. Alright, so it's been about an hour. I'm going to go ahead and uncover the bread, see how it's proofed and risen a little bit. And now I guess you could say I'm going to decorate it in a more Roman fashion. So because they ate bread at every meal, oftentimes just to make it easier to portion out, they would divide it pre-baking so with my little bread like dough ball thingy i'm going to divide it into the way it's shown in like um there's like carbonized bread in like pompeii and herculaneum and it showed that they would with a knife or something maybe like a stiff piece of wood they would divide the bread like this in six or eight pieces oftentimes. So I'm gonna do eight today just cause it's easy. And so now I see I have the bread here. I'm going to throw in the oven now until it gets all brown on the top and it's cooked thoroughly. So I've pulled the bread out of the oven, it has a nice crust on it. And yeah, I, that's kind of all there is to it. In the spirit of, you know, ancient Rome, you could dip it in some olive oil or whatever if you get, like some fig preserves or something that'd be good but yeah so that's how you make roman bread uh hope you enjoy and go make some of your own